Hello everybody, this is Deidre with Paper Crafts and Planners. Yesterday we went to a grand opening. So my daughter and a friend and I went to a grand opening of a Daiso store that's pretty near to me. Before, this one's about 35 minutes away. Before I had to drive over an hour and into a part of Houston I'm not really comfortable driving around in. And this was much easier to get to. And it was lovely. So we went to the grand opening because we thought, well, it'll be more fun, right, to go to the grand opening and maybe there'll be little prizes. There weren't, but it was still fun. So first I'm going to show you some of the little cutesy things I bought for my grandchildren. There's just a few. And some cutesy things I bought for me. <laughs> and then I will go into the practical things and the storage items and things I think are going to be helpful in my craft room. They could be helpful in any room of your house, but for me, I bought them for my craft room. So, And not only Daiso, but I, we also went to Dollar Tree, so I have a few things from there. First, when as we walked in, there were these little teddy bears, and the almost four and the five-year-old will probably really like these for Valentine's. They still like this kind of cutesy little thing, so I bought that. I bought them some little snacks, and these came in all different flavors, so I bought different flavors for each of the four of the older grandchildren. And because we have a new baby now, so he won't eat that kind of thing. For my granddaughter, I've got these little magnetic um, page markers, and they have a kitten inside of a pastry, I think it is. Apparently, this is a thing. I've never seen it or heard of it, but it's a thing. So, oh, let me explain to you how Daiso works. I forgot that. So, there are not prices on things that we would think of traditional prices. So, everything I've shown you so far has been $1.50. And there are markings if it's not $1.50, if it's more expensive. And I'll show you that as, we get, as we're going along. But everything so far that I've shown you is $1.50. This is a sketchbook. And my grandson, you know, fills these out like crazy. He could probably fill one out every month. So when I see them, I pick those up for him. And this one's for my granddaughter. It is just a little tablet with some kittens, a stylish cat. And then each page says, enjoy your day, meow, so she can write little notes. She has some friends that are out of state also. So she can send them little letters with that. Okay, the goofy thing I bought for me was this little washi tape dispenser. It looks like a cat. It opens in the back and you put the washi in and then there's a little roller that the washi goes through and it doesn't stick to it surprisingly. It rolls through and it only will fit a half an inch is the widest washi it will fit. And then it comes out like a little tongue. <laughs> and then you can just tear it off like that. So. Primarily now I use my washi for sealing up packages for orders and I like to do something seasonal So, you know Christmas time. I had some that look like Christmas I definitely have enough washi to keep this going for a while This is a red glitter and so this will be great for the Valentine's orders. I'm sending out next week. Really cute and This is a little mini trash can that opens like this and has some ears on it <laughs> Too cute. Maybe I need to cut some vinyl a face for it with my Cricut. I don't know. Um, so I'm always having little tiny pieces of scrap paper um, on my desk and what I'll do is have to pull my trash can out and kind of slide the papers that aren't big enough to keep into that. So I'll just use this little trash can when it's full. I'll dump it into the big trash can. So I thought that was cute. Okay there's um, a couple of things that I bought that I'm not sure they're going to be helpful at all but they were $1.50 so I thought I'd try them. This is a sheet roller, it's called, and I think it's meant for wallpaper or like if you put little tiles down, pressing things firmly that you're, put, that you're adhering because it was on the aisle with the wallpaper type things and the little tiles that you can grout on tabletops. And they had a wide selection of those in all different designs if you're interested in that kind of thing. But I thought I would see if it helps me with my MISTI, my stamp positioning tool. Sometimes my hand gets tired gripping that circular one with a little knob on it. And so we'll see if this is any easier. I'm having some hand strength issues and um, I'm also getting some shooting pains when I craft a lot in a day. And I don't really wanna deal with that, but I probably will have to at some point. So I'm gonna see if this helps at all. If it does, I will let you know. My mother has some similar issues and so I'm, if it works, I'm gonna have to go back and get her one. This is the thing I'm probably not going to work the way I wanted to, but I'm going to try it anyway. So it is a long piece. It's not very wide. It says, it's only centimeters on this one. So it says 80 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Does it have inches? Okay, 31 and a half inches by 11.8 inches. So it's not, it's not as narrow as I thought. Actually, I didn't measure it. 
but it's sticky backed and so the idea is you press it down to your surface you use that little roller to adhere it and get the wrinkles out I think that what this is going to be used for is a backdrop, or what I plan on using it for, is a backdrop to take thumbnail pictures of cards and things I made for my YouTube videos. I like to take thumbnail pictures of those, and sometimes dragging out the big light box and everything is kind of a pain. So this, I'm hoping, will be nice for that. Okay, on to the storage items. This was $1.50 also, and it has little compartments. As I'm organizing my craft room, I realized I needed some of these little compartment organizers. I have little wooden hearts. I have, um, oh, just little die cuts that, not die cuts, little wooden pieces or acrylic pieces that I don't want to just shove in a drawer and they're all mixed up. So I thought I'd put them in here, organize them, and then put them back in a drawer, right? I don't use them very often, but when I want to find them, I don't want to have to dig through all of that. So this was $1.50 also. This one, surprisingly, was $1.50 because it's one of the larger and it's pretty solid. It's just over three at the narrowest part. So it's narrow at the bottom and goes wider and just over, I believe it was 10. Yes, just over 10 inches at the narrow, at the thinnest part, narrowest part at the bottom. So it goes up a little wider at the top. It fits these little sheets of bling that I don't want to take off of the sheets that I want to leave on there. And so I, I've been accumulating quite a few. So I'm going to organize them in here, probably maybe put some little dividers in by color or by shapes. These are hearts, so. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm gonna organize there. It also is a good size for those little tiny stamps that we sometimes accumulate. I like to put those with my bigger stamps though and just organize them with, um, by putting them in the bigger storage envelopes. So this was also $1.50, really cute. And it is a tray and it's in that same baby pink that the other one was, the other organizer. This is great for if you are doing a lot of die cutting or a lot of stamping small images and that you've cut out or you've got, you've chosen like some bling that you've made to go on it or little pieces of ephemera for any project that you're working on that's sort of an assembly line. You get all the die cut pieces out, you put them in here, anything that you know that you've made for that project. And then as you go to put the card together or whatever it is, you've got all the pieces organized in this flat tray on your desk. And I've been using like a little bowl for that. And I think this will actually work better. Plus it's pink and my craft room. I like pink in my craft room. Here's one more pink tray and it has some words in French that I don't know. Maybe I'll look them up and see what they mean. But it has all this scroll work. It's the same baby pink. Here's how you can, here's one of the price tags that means it's not $1.50. So it says 200, I guess that's the symbol for yen, if you can see that, and so I knew it was $2. Everyone was asking when we first got there, but we all figured it out after a while. So this is $2. It is just over 12 and just over nine. So again, if you've got a project going, you've got your eight and a half by 11 pieces or your um, you've got your card bases already made and the paper selected that you're going to use, that and the tray with all my all the little ephemera going you could have your whole project organized you could even set this tray on top when you're done and then you've got everything organized to come back the next day and finish it or get it off your desk because you have to get something done like film a video that day and then put it right back on your desk so i'm looking forward to that um oh here is a bigger one of these organizers and this one you can move around this one was two dollars i took the pricing off already but this one was two dollars there are little grids in here and there are little grooves in here also and so you just kind of organize them like that now I do notice that some of the places you know they're kind of moving a little or bending a little bit but it's pretty hard plastic so I do not think you're going to have a problem with the little grids not staying in place so I was watching a lot of videos the other day <clears throat> excuse me I'm dealing with scraps and so I'm going to try to cut some of my scraps down to different sizes. I'm also going to do what one of the ladies suggested and run them through my die cut machine with my alphas. Um, some are stamps with die cuts and some are just die cut alphas. And then I can organize them by letter and have them all in here by letter if I need a title or something on a scrapbook layout. So I think that will really be nice to have all together. And it's also nice if you're traveling someplace that you're going to craft to have that. Okay, this 
They have some, and I didn't get one because I don't need it, I don't think. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm going back. I don't know. But they had grids like this that go on the wall, and they had the little, kind of like the command hooks, but their version of them, and that you can hang them up on your wall with. And so they came in all different sizes, and some were really big. And then they had all of these baskets and organizers that hooked into them. I just purchased one at $1.50 because I wasn't sure it would work on the system I have here. I have the Crafter's Companion desk, and it has the metal um, pegboard on the back. And I bought some of their organizers for it, but of course they're a little pricey. I tried it. All I'm going to have to do is open this up just a little bit more, and it will hook right to the top of this metal pegboard that I have that I'm using and it will actually allow me to use a space that's been kind of wasted with nothing on it to put some things in so I'll let you know how that goes but if you want to see what the desk looks like and the pegboard and everything in the drawers I will link to that video below because I did a tour of my desk I haven't done a whole craft room tour I've never gotten around to that because it never feels like it's done but I did do a desk tour and all the pieces surrounding my desk so that's available to look at. Okay, oh, one more bin. It's kind of a big one, and I know it's gonna create a glare, so I apologize. But they had these clear acrylic bins, and with lids. And this one is 11 inches by seven and a half by 5.7. I think this will be perfect to organize my project life, picture my life, um, four by six and three by five cards for, for pocket scrapbooking. And with the nice, it's nice and sturdy, with the nice lid to it, keep the dust out. And I'm going to try to organize all. I had a friend send me some that she wasn't using. I have a collection of them. I would really like to start doing kind of year in the life albums just for me, not to give to anyone else or not for any special occasion, but a year in my life. I was looking back at some pictures and realizing that the year that I really have a ton of pictures from, for some reason is 2017. And of course, I was nostalgic for it because, you know, 2020 and 2021, not so much. And I don't know what 2022, 2022 is going to hold, but probably not so much. I have a few little trips planned. So I'm looking forward to doing some pocket scrapbooking. And I may get some of those smaller 8.5 by 11 or 6 by 8 albums that Close to My Heart has and work through some of that. But I may start with 2017. So, I mean, it's for me, right? So I can start wherever I want and work through it however I want. So, but I'm looking forward to that. Okay, we went to Dollar Tree, which is now Dollar Twenty Five Tree, but that doesn't sound as good, right? So I want to try one of those reverse canvases that everybody's doing, all the Cricut people for sure, and all the Dollar Tree people are doing. So what you do is take the canvas off, remove, I don't know if you remove the staples or if you even make, you need to, but you take the, cut the canvas off, and then you flip the frame around that it's on. It has to be one of these mounted ones, of course. And you color the frame, or paint it, stain it, however you want to do that. And it looks like a frame, but of course not the side that's got the staples. You're going to have the other side show. And then you decorate this canvas however you want. Some put vinyl cutouts. I'm going to take some different things that my grandchildren have made me, the older four, over the years. I have some tiny handprints that then they painted and decorated and so I'm going to put those on canvas I might paint the canvas first decoupage them on and then put their name at the bottom and then what you do is you take this canvas and you staple it to the back of the frame you've just made or adhere it to the back of the frame you've just made and you've got kind of a shadow box effect with it and I'm going to try to do that with all of the little um, things that the grandchildren have made me that I really want to display and I haven't been there's a section in my craft room. I have a really pretty painted chicken and it's pink that my friend got me from a famous artist in her area where she lives and he paints on these slate boards and different materials. And she had this one done for me with the pinks and I really love it, the pinks and greens. And so I'm going to put that up and then all my grandchildren things around it. That's my plan anyway. I've cleared a spot on the wall in my craft room for it. So I'm gonna do that. These are little, um, those, what do you call them, self-healing mats. These are thin. For $1.25, of course, they're pretty thin. They're nice for laying something down and using your X-Acto knife. I also have been able to use these through some of, through my smaller die-cut machine. 
Sometimes you have to add a shim, depending on your die cutting machine and how thick the plates normally are, but it can replace the plate that you cut into so that you're not damaging. I know scrapbook.com kind of uh, figured out this trend that people do because they sell them now, the self-healing mats. Now, self-healing mats are not really, I mean, you cut into them and after a while, the, the things, paper's gonna, scraps are gonna sink into them. They're gonna have that mark just like a die plate does. Then you have to clean it off and they warp and you have to heat them and get the warp out. So for a $1.25, I'm going to use this and I think it'll work out just fine. I have used it in the past, so I know it will. All right, something that I've been thinking I needed for a while and there they were for a $1.25 and they're nice and pink are these little protectors for your finger when you're using a hot glue gun. I made all the decor for my daughter's baby shower and it was a nightmare before Christmas because it was in October and he was due on December 27th. He came early, but he was due December 27th. So the nightmare before Christmas was a cute theme and it was all purple and she wishes her favorite color. But I did all the like corsages for the family members. I did the gift bags and hot glued these uh, flowers, purple flowers that I made onto there. And I burned my finger so many times. <laughs> I don't use a hot glue gun a lot, um, so I'm not the most talented at it, but these will definitely come in handy for the next time I need to do that. They are carrying now vinyl and transfer tape at the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know. There's not a lot in here. 12 inches by 36. I don't know if $1.25 is a good deal because I've not used my Cricut for vinyl. And I really want to try to do it, especially like for those little reverse frames. I'm thinking doing the grandchildren's name in different colored vinyl would look really cute on there. So I'm going to try it. There was no vinyl, but there was some transfer tape. So I'm going to get some a sheet of vinyl and play around with this and see how it works out. And I know I can do it. I just need to practice and get better at it. So there was that. Let's see. What else did I get at Dollar Tree? Oh, I bought these cute. Look at these. For $1.25, I cannot make something like this, that cheap and that cute. So each of the younger two grandchildren, well, not the younger two, I keep forgetting there's a baby now, the almost four-year-old and the five-year-old, I bought these. And these little stuffed animals fit that I bought at Daiso fit perfectly inside. And one of these little treats fits in there. Now they'll probably get a bigger gift, but to go along with their bigger gift, I thought this was just really adorable. And one more thing, last but not least, well, might be least, I bought some Huggies baby wipes. The lady that I was with, my friend Charla, said that on TikTok they were showing that these are the best wipes, the Huggies, to clean off your mat. I think it was a Dollar Tree Cricut hacks on TikTok, but I don't get on TikTok, I'm sorry to say. So I'm going to try these to clean off my mats. I am bad about not cleaning off my mats often enough, and needing new mats more frequently than I should because I primarily use them for paper, which really the little fibers of the paper get stuck on there so easily. So I'll give this a shot. That is my whole haul from yesterday, except for we did go to a place called The Painted Tree and I bought a couple of blouses, but this is not that kind of channel, so I'm not gonna show you those. Anyway, I really think I got some cute stuff for the price. I'll probably be going back to Daiso more often now that it's closer to me and I'm really excited about that. Thank you for watching everybody and happy crafting, happy organizing, whatever it is you do. Thank you for watching.